Hi everybody, this is Doctor Who season 10. This is episode two and this is part two of Carnival of Monsters. Now, into the last episode, we saw a giant hand come down and pick the TARDIS up, um, which made me smile a lot actually. I love when things you don't expect to happen, happen. Um, so I'm really intrigued by what's going on. I still think they're in this machine that these two weird people um, in the sparkly claws have kind of brought to this weird place with them. Um, again, I'd quite happily stay on the boat um, that we saw in last episode um, with good old Harry Sullivan. But I don't think we're going to. We're probably going to end up somewhere else. Um, so again, let's just get straight on into this and let's see how this one kind of goes. So let's go. That's fine. Is it gone? That means finding a way off this ship. Take not Harry oh, with you. They're coming over. Good. I think I found the trouble anyway. Here we are. A bit of bric a brac lodged inside circuit three. Um, you've seen so much of the world. It makes me seem so so unsophisticated. I suppose we're due for the monster bit any minute now. <laughs> the monster bit. Yes, very probably. Is unpleasant. These are the only Tellurians in captivity. Some scientists think that their discovery refutes Waldeck's theory that life in the universe is infinitely variable. That was a mouthful. And even more interesting, though less amusing form of life is the oak. Amazing. The Drashics have no intelligence center, unfortunately, so I cannot control their behavior. Oh, but these pictures, and they are recorded. Sure. Nope. Oh. They oh. live in my little thing. The scope. No. Not while we're inside this. Mara, thing. what are you doing? We've got to get out of here. Come on. What a head, eh? By God, I'd love to have that on the club wall. What? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hi! No, you've forgotten our names. What's that? Well, I never knew them. I've never barely well seen you in all my life. Before. Yes, you have. Now, by simply adjusting the agrometer, the peaceful Tellurians. <laughs> what on earth is this episode? <laughs> It's like they're just running around in circles all the time. Oh, is this like a dead end? Coming? <laughs> You'd be so baffled. It's like one of them things that the doctor hits your knee with for it. your reflexes. Yes. Looks like some sort of shark. Go in. Good. Down we go. Thank you. Yes, it is. What is it? It's a machine. My dear girl, this is a perfect example of an early pulse mechanism based on the principle of cesium decay. Not authentic. A forgery. A forgery? But your worship, I had no idea. And my assistant and I travelled all the way from Demo. Just simple strolling players. Destroyed. That hat is ridiculous. Send the eradicated detachment to section two immediately. This is murder! Assassination! Stand aside, you two. I'm not without influence, you know. I shall complain. Prepare to ira- Wait. Technology has proved efficient. The eradicator was designed only for use against organic molecules. But then the creatures in there? Well, they are organic. The eradicator will have destroyed them. Well, that is the main objective. Wow, what happened? Someone tried to destroy well, everything. Got a bit hot, didn't it? It was them. They did it on purpose. Who? The giants, of course. Well, why should they, Joe? We've done them no harm. Well, what other reason? The machine must contain a defensive barrier. But it seems we have no defences on them. Zahab and his councils of fools have betrayed us. That is dangerous talk, Kalik. Even for the President's brother. Some things need to be said. Oh. Look. Perhaps a transmitter. Right, come on now. Come on, quick as you can. That's it. 
Once we're not lost, Joe. What makes you think that? See this? You know what that is? That's a bearing housing for one of the ventilator shafts. Oh, good. Knowing makes me feel so much better. <laughs> oh, my God. You're dead. What, what is a transmitter, Shanna? For sending messages, you idiot. A beam pulser. We haven't got one, have we? I thought you told me you had a master's degree in radionics. <gasps> that's brilliant. What is it? And let's have the truth this time. I don't know. I swear I don't know. Some Lerman secret weapon, perhaps. Carlick, these Tellurians are not even from our home galaxy. There is no way of telling what diseases they may have brought with them. Is there an exit from that machine? Quite impossible, Your Worship. No, just another random room. Okay. Yes. Come on. It's a bit scary, isn't it? What are all those bubbles? Oh, some sort of marsh gas. It's not acid, is it? Probably highly inflammable. Come on. Better take a look around. But there's nothing to look at. Them two people again. The Tadurians! They've broken into the circuit. Fork, you've got to get them out. How can I? They're already as good as dead. Why? Once the dressings get their scent, they won't stand a chance. <laughs> I love that. This story is getting more bizarre as we go. It's just so so odd. It's it's always um, we always get one kind of really insane story every now and then. Um, I mean, we had Underwater Menace. Macro Terror was slightly weird as well. Um, we've now got this one. They just like to keep us on our toes. I think just keep us kind of wondering like what on earth like literally what on earth is going on with these stories but i'm probably just going to watch the next part and i'll see you guys soon so thank you